Delta Airlines, pleasure to welcome you to Kansas City International Airport. Local time here is approximately 8.30 p.m. Central Time. You've experienced a one-hour time change difference. For your continued safety as well as the safety of those around you, remain seated with your seatbelts fairly fastened. To the aircraft's been brought to a complete stop at the gate, the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. That will be your one and only indication it's safe to move about the cabin and begin to collect your personal items and your belongings. Please be very careful and use caution when opening overhead vents and keep in mind the items you shift and move during flight. It's now safe to use your mobile phones and the cellular handheld electronic devices, laptop computers, and DVD players, I'm afraid, must remain stowed until you deplane the aircraft into the terminal. Upon arrival into the gate, uniformed Delta gate agents will meet this flight and be able to assist you with gate connection questions, ground transportation information, or baggage claim related inquiries. On behalf of Delta Airlines, our Sky Team partners, and your Atlanta based flight deck crew, as well as your Atlanta based flight attendant crew, it's been a pleasure having you on board and bringing you here this evening. Welcome to Kansas City or wherever your final destinations may be, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thompson in the corner to Winger. One more three, and this place is going to explode. Good start to day two. 16 teams remain.
but out from the bottom of my heart, thank you for what you're doing for my own. Get our hands together and we'll get out of here. For this evening, if you're heading out, 61 degrees. That's way above average even for the daytime high this time of year. So no really big complaints I don't think anybody can come up with. It is high cirrus and it will continue to be across the sky for later on tonight. Then looking at the hour-by-hour hour forecast into Sunday, close to 50 degrees by 8 a.m. for services, 55 by 10, shoots up to 64 degrees by lunchtime. I guarantee you a lot of people will be dining outside tomorrow. I think our bond and our friendship off the court is really big. You know, I've been a part of some really good teams, whether it was AAU, whether it was my 29 and one high school team, but you know, we're brothers. And I'm not just saying that, we're really good friends off the court. And you know, championships, all that stuff, this is just a luxury. The biggest thing is friendship, as Coach Engel would say. Seriously, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. What I'm really proud of is the fact that not only you've won a lot of games, but you've represented the school extremely well as we try to do some really cool things there. You guys, I don't know if you know it or not, you got a chance to make history. No first-year program in the NBA, the NFL, the NCAA, the NAIA, I don't care what league it is, has ever won a championship. And I couldn't be more proud that you were already to this point. Oh, man, we like brothers, man. We just do stuff that brothers do. We all get on each other's nerves, no matter what it is. But like at the end of the day, we love each other. Like this bond will never be broken. Uh, it's just love. Uh, I love these guys. I'm always gonna love these guys. Uh, I'm gonna always remember these guys. They can always, you know, call me or anything, and I'm gonna always say, you know, my brother. They're always gonna be my brothers. I mean, it's a bond that's unbreakable. It's just something that, I mean, I'm going to miss. I never had a team that I've been on that really nobody care who gets the credit. I mean, I never had that. I thank my family, thank God. I have a lot of support, you know, back at home. And that's the biggest thing nowadays. You know, that's what kids need. They need love, they need support. So I think that's what really motivates me to keep pushing for those times that I failed in the, in the past for coming up short. from Laura and Brian, um, who are their official scorekeepers. We have some chips and salsa, some vanilla pudding with Oreo bits, and some um, Dalton Blue Rice Krispie Treats, and then some little snacks over here for some trail mix, and our glow card for them from Brian and Laura. No, I got a camera right on the door, so. <laughs> a little bit more. It was a great feeling. I mean, for what this community do for us, I mean, I didn't expect that. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even expect for them to really show how much they care and loved us. That mean that meant a lot. 
and I appreciate everything they did. They wanted to make sure you guys had a good time watching the film. There you go. I think it was after um, that we won the game, I was like, am I going to do this? Am I going to put my vehicle on the line to go out and see this? There is nothing like watching the game with a bunch of students that support the school as much as you do. From the beginning, I already wanted to drive there, but I had classes, and then I told myself, if they win Monday night, then I'm driving up there. I knew my best friends were the number one basketball fans here at Dalton State. But yeah, it was pretty much a split decision 30 minutes after the game ended. It's unbelievable, it really is. I watched the students around me cheering, going crazy. And I think, wow, I am a part of a school that supports their team. And that makes me so much more proud to be a role runner. You got a tight schedule. I told you, don't get on the bus unless you win the winning national championship. And I said, when you get off the bus, you're the ones going to win. Now listen, we play tomorrow. Why paint my face? Why not? <laughs> um, I think the real reason why I paint my face is I like showing school pride. And so I paint my face to, to kind of be that symbol of, a symbol kind of like what the Roadrunner is. And even more recently, there was a little boy in town um, and I heard from my boss that when the parade happened downtown, they were wondering where the blue guy was. And to hear those little things kind of shows that the symbol is working. Me being bigger than myself and being part of something bigger than myself is actually working. I mean, like, who's not going to paint their face if there's paint available? I didn't prep for the paint ahead of time, as I should have, like a good roadrunner. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to turn that down. You know, Will, he always paints his face up. I, I had to get in on that. I think I had a mindset of all in or nothing. And I didn't paint my whole face. I just had two stripes right down here. But just needed to do it, because how else would you support your school? William had the pain with him, and we were one of the few Dolphin State students there, so I was like, why not? We need to do this, show our support, support and show our team colors. You know, William's been doing it every game, and it was a better way of showing school spirit. And, you know, to join along with William brought out, you know, uh, school spirit in me. DB! DB! I didn't even get worried. Usually I would have just been like, I would look up at the scoreboard and like, be like, man, there's uh, no way we can do this. But uh, something just, it just hit me, just came over me like, uh, we're good. We'll find a way no matter what. There's going to be a way we're going to win. We weren't going to lose. I didn't want it to end there. I didn't want the journey to end right there. And uh, honestly, it, it hurt so bad because it, it had felt like we lost the game. I started tearing up in the, time out so I'm just glad it didn't end right there we were we were known as that first year team 
So now, I feel like winning it all, you know, our name is out there. I mean, we made it to the LA Times, Washington Post. So it's really big for our community and our school as a whole. It really means a lot and it took me a while to finally figure out the feeling of it. And I, I finally figured it out. And you know, every other year I'm used to losing my last game of the season. But this year, I actually won my last game. So that's why I feel so much different. Uh, <laughs> uh, the dance off between me and the security lady. It started with, I guess, my normal demeanor of uh, trash talking and and dancing and, and going crazy for our team. And I had been talking to the security ladies all night and and pointing at them and saying, "Well, you know you want to be a road runner, also. You know that you're supporting us at this game." It's okay because you can't really pick sides because you know you have to be unbiased, but I know and you know that you're a road runner. She giggled a little bit and then I started dancing and I was like, come on, you know you want to dance, you know you want to dance. <laughs> and she just, she bobbed her head a little bit and then danced a little bit while looking at her supervisor and quickly stopped as soon as the supervisor caught wind. But <laughs> I was happy because I feel like I converted another um, person out in the world to be part of Roadrunner Nation. did it uh, and everybody knows it you know uh, so many people came out it just it was just love you can feel it it's hard to put into words because you know every kid dreams of this you know coming out on top something I've been looking for my whole life I want to be a champion I'm a national champion <laughs> I know uh, people saw me hugging my mom, and I know she's like very proud of me. And then I may get a little emotional talking about it, but but I mean, uh, uh, my dad passed away, and kind of felt my dad too. I don't know, it's just one of those things. Championship game. Golf State's 
71 to 53 for their first title in school history. points on eight, 11 shooting, and seven rebounds. Congrats! Maybe the ones will work up the last one. Part of me, when I saw everyone gathered together, I said, yeah, I was there to see the game, and now I'm going to see them come back. Um, and then there's another part that was just so proud that not only students are showing their part in the school, but the people of Dalton gathering together to just say, oh, man, it's insane. That just warms my heart that this community cares so much for a school and for a team. It's crazy the school spirit we have. And whenever I got back, it was about 12, and I was just hand, like walking around the school, and everybody's giving me high fives. Hey, I saw you on TV, and stuff like that. And it's like wow, wow, that was that was pretty pretty uplifting. And to see you know all those people there to support our uh, roadrunners when they came back home from the game. It was just really, really uh, breathtaking. It was almost like a movie. I mean, we were out right outside on um, the county lines and we were just standing up in the bus just waiting for the cops to just come up and just finally have that moment hit. Wow, we actually champions. And then coming back, seeing everybody, seeing people on the bridge, and it was a great feeling, man. <laughs> That's something you see in movies. <laughs> I mean, it was just a great feeling. It, it was something that you see in a movie. You know, it's, it's really hard to process at that time, you know, I mean, we're a bunch of young guys and I feel like a lot of us can't even really, I feel like we really don't even know what we've done yet. So, I mean, God has been blessing us, not only that day, but today being at the radio station and, you know, interviews, the interview taking place right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's just hard to put into words, really. I laughed a little bit because it was almost like they're on celebrity status. That's pretty awesome. You know, as soon as the police, you know, you seen the blue lights, uh, it wasn't a terrible feeling like somebody's pulling you over or anything. <laughs> it was a good feeling like, you know, like everybody's happy for you, even the police. And that's, <laughs> that's, that felt great. That felt great. It was just so cool to see fire trucks and police cars come in and then their bus. Was, and then everyone shouted, they have arrived! And seeing that, it's just, wow, I whipped my phone out, started taking videos, because I knew that this was something I would want to show back home, show my family what kind of school I'm in. Wow. Wow, guys. As a community, as alumni of this magic place, and this is a magic place. You know, they say we, Disney World is 
the world's happiest place. <laughs> uh, right you have put us on the map, taken us from from Dalton State College, which everyone here knows and loves, to some place that now the world saw on Sports Center last night. <laughs> I told the team before we left, don't get on the bus unless you want to win a national championship. This is not my team. This is not your team. This is not their team. This is our team. The right is our team. There's a lot of reasons we wanted to win this championship. And at the top of the list was for his fiance. <laughs> at the time, it only seemed like a dream to get a school that would be unified and to have a school that would be prideful in who they are and be prideful to be a roadrunner. When I saw everybody on the quad, it was just a, a shock and kind of a fulfillment of that dream and a dream come true to have the support and the, and the love and the pride that I knew could exist. If you know anything about the history of the school, one of the famous quotes out there is, uh, see the future, be the change.